Hello and my name's Robbie from Girl Bike Glove. In this video we're going to be talking about cycling shoes, pedals and cleats so you know exactly what you need for your indoor bike. Let's go! Before we start, a question we often get asked by our amazing readers and subscribers is can you change pedals on spin bikes? And yes, you can. In fact, 99.9% .9 of spin bikes and outdoor bikes actually share the same pedal thread. The only two exceptions are children's bikes and very old classic bikes. Changing the pedals on a spin bike is actually really easy. We've even made a video about it on the Girl Bike Love YouTube channel, which we're going to pin as one of the top comments in this video. So shoes, cleats and pedals, how are they all connected? Well, it's quite simple. So obviously the shoe goes on your foot. On the bottom of that cycling shoe, you can attach a cleat. And then this cleat can be clipped into a pedal to fix your foot while you're indoor cycling. So when it comes to indoor cycling, you've got loads of options for different pedals. They generally fall under two different categories, clipless pedals and flat pedals. Clipless pedals, although the name sounds like it doesn't give you the ability to clip in, that is exactly what they are, pedals that you can clip into. So you've got loads of different options here. The first one being SPDs. This stands for Shimano Pedaling Dynamics. These are those small metal cleats with two bolts in that you typically see in spin classes and mountain bikers use. So they're the pedals that you're most likely gonna see when it comes to spinning. The majority of people, 99%, use SPD, the small little metal cleats. And if you ever plan on going to a spin class, then that's what the bikes are going to be equipped to take. Next, we have SPD SL. So that stands for Shimano Pedaling Dynamics Super Light. And these are a three bolt system where you have a big plastic cleat on the bottom. This is very similar to Look Delta, which Peloton use as well. So then we have flat pedals, also known as clipped. So these are what you use regular shoes with. You will find that a lot of the spin bikes come with these as standard, and they are an ideal way to get started and to be able to wear comfortable shoes that you enjoy training in. Some of these even come with toe straps where you can put your foot in, strap it up nice and tight, and you get a very similar experience to being clipped in. Some pedals you will find will have flat on the top, an SPD on the bottom and this is a really good combination between the two different types especially if it's a bike that's used by multiple people. So what's better clipless or flat pedals? So it really comes down to personal preference more than anything. In my experience I much prefer clipless. Being able to fix your feet to the actual pedals gives you such better structure and really helps with pedaling efficiency and power transfer. It is worth trying them both to see if you can get a feel for them. I highly recommend that if you do try clipless, just make sure that the cleats are set up at the correct angle for your feet. So now for shoes. When it comes to shoes, you're going to find three different types that you can use when it comes to indoor cycling. Here's what you need to know. So first we have SPD shoes, and these are obviously to match the SPD pedals. So to identify these, all you need to do is look on the bottom. You're either going to have a small metal cleat or two small bolt holes next to each other. These are the most common type you're gonna see when it comes to spinning. And in my opinion, if you are gonna be using a lot of different bikes, these are the ones I'd pick. So next we have SPDSL or Look Delta shoes. So these are really easily identifiable and many people reference these as road bike shoes. So if you look on the back, you're gonna be able to see three bolt holes or a big plastic cleat like so. So these are really good shoes because they offer a very wide platform, but not many bikes that you might be using are gonna have the pedals to suit. So then we have mixed shoes, and these are fantastic because they can do both. 
So if you look on the bottom, they have the holes for SPD and SPD-SL, giving you loads of different options. These are the Shimano IC1s and definitely at the top of my indoor cycling shoe list. So how do you clip into clipless pedals? Well, it's much easier than you might think. All you have to do is put the cleat on top of the small pedal attachment and push down. You'll hear a big click and that's when you know you're clipped in. When you need to get your foot out, all you need to do is take your heel and push it away from the bike. This will click again and it will spring your foot out of the pedal. It's that simple. So thanks for taking the time to watch our video today. If you've got any helpful tips for people who want spin bike pedals, then make sure to drop them in the comments below. And before you go, make sure to subscribe to the Girl Bike Love YouTube channel. Stay cool.